Lyme disease sucks. That's the worst. I had lots of patients, didn't want to get into the practice of chronic disease, but patients found me. And protocols I typically use, ozone high dose vitamin C. Uh, that's the start. I've got patients with Lyme up to 100 or 250 grams of vitamin C in one sitting, three times a week. Ozone, gold standard is 10 pass ozone at 70 gamma. So in combination, I'll do treatments with that. High dose vitamin C, I'll actually use glutathione. And then I've seen ALA, which is a light binder as well, in conjunction with um, 10 pass of ozone. I typically start there and then use a binder afterwards to bind up all the toxins. You're really gonna wanna use infrared saunas. And then peptide-wise, I've been using in conjunction with this. LL37, I just call this the anti-everything. So antimicrobial, antifungal, antiviral, anti-Lyme. So it's actually gonna improve that immune system and you know, destroy all of those antigens or pathogens. As well as thymolin, thymolin is gonna be the precursor to your thymus glands creating T cells and B cells, which is your immune system. Thymus and alpha, thymus and beta will actually increase T cells and B cells as well. CD4 counts, Th1, Th2 pathways, that's your immune system binding onto those pathogens or antigen and getting it out of the body as well. So a lot of information I just gave you there. There's big protocols, uh, consult with the doctor, consult with myself, and there's specific protocols with Lyme. You don't have to go the doxycycline route. You don't have to go the antibiotic route, but there are some cases that you have to use it as well. Whatever we got to do to kind of kill Lyme, like I said in the beginning, Lyme sucks. Dilporium destroys a lot in the body and we have a lot of patients with it. So if you have Lyme or suspect you have Lyme, click the link below, schedule an appointment and 